Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and also this is the first video I've, I've filmed since reaching 1000 subscribers so I just wanted to just thank you guys so very much for the support. I actually never really thought of reaching this because, well, let's see. Um, oh, I was interrupted here. Okay, so I was I was saying that I never thought I would really reach this goal. I just always thought of myself because I'm an introvert because I wasn't really posting as regularly as I could that it would take me much much longer to reach this goal but I actually really wanted to reach it at certain points during the fast past few months when I started posting on YouTube again, I really was like, I really wish that I would get more views, more subscribers. I really wish for all of that. But at the same time, when I look back and when I look at where I am and what I'm doing, I'm just like, I don't think I can handle more than what I'm doing right now. So if this is the growth that comes with the effort that I'm putting in, this is where I'm supposed to be. I am really happy with that. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. And if you guys are interested in me, I'm sharing my sister logs journey. I am analyzing the difference between sister logs and micro logs because I tried both and I honestly cannot tell you which one is the best. So I will go back and forth. One video, I will tell you how much the Stalogs are great, but then in another video, after watching a few other YouTubers who have micrologs, I will be telling you, um, I don't think sister logs are the best. So this is where I am right now today. I think micrologs are the best choice. I've been watching a lot of content on micrologs and sister logs because I think they're, they are in the same family. Well, I don't think that, that this is what it is. Micrologs and sister logs are in the same family. So if you're thinking about getting tiny logs, you have the choice between micrologs and sister logs. Sister logs are a way of doing micrologs that is very specific, very regulated, and so if you want to call your logs sister logs, they have to have been done in a certain way. But from what I understand, people call very tiny logs sister logs in general because the look of sister logs is the fact that they're uniform, they're very small, and the fact that they are somewhat done in a certain grid that's very straight and very like squared but very small but people who don't know what sister logs are when they see someone with small logs will always say oh you have sister logs or will ask are those sister logs so it doesn't matter that your hair is sister locks or not in the eyes of other people if this is what they associate with sister logs, your hair is sister log. So this is why I'm coming with the conclusion that micro locks are the better choice. Even though I have sister logs, I've had my logs for two years and a half right now. So I'm really very happy with the way that they are and the way that they've grown and developed and everything and how they're locking. I really love the style, but I've been watching other YouTubers and I've been seeing how really nice their hair looks and I can tell you that if you want to start your locks you want to get very tiny locks already getting very tiny locks is something new it's something that was not accepted widely in the lock community before when I decided that I wanted to get sister locks or very tiny micro locks people around me told me no don't do that. The first thing everybody said when I said I want to get very tiny logs is they're gonna fall off. You can't maintain tiny logs, they're gonna fall off. And I understand why they're saying that, but apparently looking at other people who have been wearing sister logs for over 10 years now or micro logs, we, what was I saying? When I wanted tiny logs, People were telling me tiny locks are really fragile and they will fall off, they will break off easily. I didn't really understand what they meant when they said that, like, um, because you have tiny locks, your locks would break from like here or whatever. But now that I've had my locks for a while, I understand that if you don't take care of your locks, the tiny locks, 
you will get these kind of situations. My hair, my growth cycle is two years. It's approximately two years from what I've gathered from my previous hair journeys. So after two years, be careful, right? So what happens is now that I have really tiny locks, situations like this will happen and I have Oh, I have another one maybe here that I can show. But so because this is sideburns, okay? So it never grew. My sideburns never have never grown this long, okay? Now I have the, the growth for that hair, which is this. But I also have the weaving of the shedded hair. So the weaving of the hair for it to be this long. And it might be sideburns with you know regular hair like together because it's at the limit of my sideburns here i decided to not grow locks down here i preferred not to so i usually cut them when they become too long i cut them or i shave them or i epilate with the cream but this one here you you see here this is what happened on this side i lost this one here so this one here, the part where the hair is completely attached to my head and the part where the hair is shedded hair that is weaved with my hair, this here is a weak point. Okay, so we, I think we can see that well. So it will get too weak and it will just slide off when probably all the hairs that are left here will shed. It will just slide off like this one did. So I washed my hair and my hair became a little bit softer. Usually that happens when I wash my hair. And when I was, I was separating my hair and just, you know, doing what I needed to do after my wash, it just slid right off. It's not traumatizing when you understand what's going on. I'm just hoping that not a lot of my hair will do that. So my last retie was the 25th of August. So if you guys remember, I had a retie end of July. I think it was like the 29th of July. And my next retie was the 25th of August. My second backup lactician took me and she actually, my, my appointment was supposed to be like September 7th and she had to move it up to August 25th. So my retie was after four weeks and she showed me a few locks that are becoming really tiny and she she kind of combined. I think the lock that I showed that came undone in April, the one, the one that, that was in the front, she combined it with another one. It wasn't my preferred choice, but she she did it. It was really a really small section, but she showed me other locks that because of how my, you know, schedule was disrupted, I might lose. So I have another couple. I think she was showing me two locks. There's one here. I wasn't able to find it. So maybe if I find it, I'll put some B-roll of it. But it's the same situation that as this lock here, the sideburn lock that I just showed, it's a lock that it became thin in right here in the middle. So all of a sudden the, the hair is okay and then it's thinning and then the lock is the way that it was when in the beginning when it was locking properly. I'm really sad about it, but not that sad. You know, when you have like f over 550 locks, losing a couple is not the end of the world. Combining a couple is not the end of the world. So right now, since I combined this one, I, I guess I have 560 locks. It's not so bad. This one I haven't lost completely, so I'm still counting it. It's a baby lock, but it's smaller, much smaller than its brother on the other side or its sister. It's fine, it's fine. And actually, I this used to be my favorite hairstyle side part with you know but now it's not my favorite hairstyle anymore i prefer the top knot or top thing which makes my hair a little bit like 
taller and gives me a slimmer face. I don't know. I don't know if I'm right. But now, these days, that's how I like to wear my hair every day. So, yeah. But I'm liking this volume and tomorrow there's a special activity at church and I think I'm gonna roll it up. Last time I put rollers in my head, it was for Easter and that did not work out for me too much. So this is a random update. I'm supposed to be filming my 30 month update, which I think I will be filming next week because September 1st has passed, but I have to take care of my daughter's hair so I can't wash my hair. Anyways, I just wanted to do a little bit of an update and talk about how it's going since my last retie, which was done by somebody else than my sister logs consultant. And then the, it's the second retie done by somebody else, but it's yet another person. It went well. It went well. So, so far so good. I haven't had to organize myself to retie on my own. So I was contacted by my consultant for an appointment beginning of October. I'm hoping that that's going to work out. So we'll see. She has her own backup person doing locks for her now. So hopefully she can squeeze me in. We'll see. So if it works out, this is going to be a great thing. So uh, actually, I didn't really talk about why I think micro locks are better than sister locks. So let's go into that before I leave. I think micro locks are better than sister locks because they are going to be more catered to the individual and also because they allow you to do your locks yourself. Even if you decide to do super tiny locks, even if it takes you two weeks to install them, you can do it yourself. There is lucky girl. Let's see. Lucky Girl 20,000. I've also already talked about Queen Aleem. She installed her, I think it's like about 600 logs herself, interlocked herself, and it took her maybe, I don't know. I forget how long it took her, so I don't want to say how long. So Lucky Girl 20,000, she installed super tiny logs, so 1,000 micro logs by twisting the hair. Her journey has started, I think, last year. And she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine videos. And her most, let's check that. Her most popular video is the best types of dreadlocks, six types of locks, how to start dreadlocks six different ways. This is very interesting because that's a video that I also wanted to do. I do want to talk about the fact that there is this thing about tiny locks. Maybe it's because I have very small locks and this is what I watch. So this is what I see. There's this thing about tiny locks and I'm like, well, you know, there are other kinds of locks that are really interesting to dive into and it's not just the tiny micro locks and tiny sister locks that we can get we can get other types of locks so she's had her locks for about a year from what i understand here by looking at her videos i saw the video the um different types of drag locks videos i i watched that video a few months ago um she posted it a year ago it says here so about a year ago and i really thought she did a great job her video was very interesting and informative well if you if you're interested uh, check it out she has a bunch of subscribers so people already know she's great almost 8,000 subscribers which is really really amazing otherwise hair wise i told you about the lock that i'm almost losing here i have another one in my really fine section i have a log that is hanging on by two strands or something like that so this is not a log that's that became thin in the middle it's really the lock is hanging on by two strands it's like i don't know i lost hair or something and it's only hanging on with two strands so i'm gonna lose that log also so yeah it's not again not the end of the world but it's not really what i would want so yeah this is it for the video as usual thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing and i'll see you next time bye